All right, today we're going to finally get around to bottling the uh, Red Eye Rye. Oh, yeah. I got my caps ready here. I got them soaking. I bottle. I'm going to be going to keg shortly. We're going to be doing kegs eventually because, I don't know, 2,500 bottles is just way too much I've been doing over the past three years. So eventually we're going to go to kegs. So here we go with the Red Eye Rye. This is the Blueberry Bastard in here still fermenting. But we're going to transfer the Red Eye Rye to the bottling bucket. Everything's sanitized. Got all our bottles set out. Some are in the bucket already. Got the capper out. Everything. What can go wrong, right? <laughs> How you doing? So we'll get back to you at that point when we're done, maybe. Okay. Don't know what happened. Once again, the footage is missing for bottling the Red Eye Rye. Whether it's the cameraman's fault, the editor, the producer, I don't know. Don't know. But uh, these are the Red Eye Ryes here. And these uh, these uh, cases here, these are the, uh, some are in six packs. I don't know why I got to move them, but the other ones are in the, all the red caps are the Red Eye Rye. So there, they, they were done. But the footage is gone again, so go figure on that. So I guess in its place, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a sample test on uh, one of these uh, infamy beers here that we uh, bottled last week. So we're going to take one of those. Come on, and keep these in the shade and in the dark. So we'll take this. We'll take this right to the fridge. And magically stick that in there. I like to keep it straight up if possible, so places with the sausages here. So it stands straight up there. Come on. And we'll come back for that in a little while. But yeah, that was gone the footage, go figure. This is the infamy. Infamy number two. Data to live on in infamy. Data to live on in infamy. Let's give this a little bit of a sample. Oh, you can smell the coffee, chocolate, and you can smell my hops, which are the Cascade. Oh, we got uh, six or seven ounces of uh, homemade uh, homegrown Cascade leaves in this one. So, the nose smells delicious. Of course, we had this before. We're going to see if it lives up to the first brew that we made. So, let's try this. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some good head on there. Uh, decent lacing. It still has a little ways to go to mature. It's got about four days before I put it in the fridge in the basement. So we were just sampling this. I go 15 days bottle conditioning before I go ahead and I uh, stick it in the fridge. Let's try this again. Chocolate, coffee. I can smell the Cascade hops. Ah. Oh, yeah. Came in right where I wanted it to be. That's a beautiful beauty. Six point something. Six point five, I believe, or five point five. I'd have to look at my sheets. Oh. Mm. It's pretty good. Pretty darn good. Yeah, this beats uh, doing the editing on the bottling. We didn't, uh, we couldn't find that film. Yeah, it was lost. Lost in time. I'd have to sit there and edit that probably for quite some time. But uh, let's give this one another sample again. Oh, it still smells beautiful. Ah, good mouthfeel. Good tasting beer. It's got chocolate in there. It's got a little coffee. Some two row, of course I got that online. We'll read that recipe from the last video. 
Oh, is that a good beer, though? <clears throat> Cascade really comes through at the end. It was uh, uh, Cascade and I believe uh, Willamite, Willamette hops at the end I put in there at the last 15 minutes. Let's sample that again. Ah. Oh, yeah. That's a beer. Gotta love that one. You can still see it's got some good lacing on there. <clears throat> Carbonation seems to be right on target for bottle conditioning. Let's give that one more sample again. It smells good. Ah. Made two, three weeks ago, whatever's bottle is done. So we're going to open this. What's this stupid old guy I got? I'm going to find my, my, normal, my normal opener. And it doesn't matter. We'll just pour this in here on an angle. Looks like the carbonation's done. Yeah, it looks like we got that right. So. Doesn't look too shabby. What we're going to do is take a sample of that. And uh, red eye rye. Let's see what this thing tastes like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a good beer. Oh, the wife's going to love that. She's going to love this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take another. Oh, it's a good. Like, oh. We're gonna be take another sample of that. Shortly. Uh, we're just right Just a minute. Taste to it. I get the rye, bulls, spice. My uh, oh yeah, really nice. That is a good uh, beer. Like all of them. Yeah, we're gonna be going to kegs. We ordered some kegs and a kegerator, so we're going to be doing that shortly. But uh, we'll keep sampling this red eye rye here just to make sure it's good. It's got some nice taste to it. <clears throat> I can definitely taste the rye, a little uh, spicy, a little spice flavor. Of course, my, my hops, uh, the Cascade homegrown hops. That uh, was one, one addition. They come through beautiful. They come through really nice on this beer. Ah! Not too bad, not too bad. You got a little bit left here for the sample. So we're going to finish that up here with uh, maybe uh, one or two swallows. <laughs> Proust!